so we are currently at my house. Um, my brother still thinks I'm at school and he doesn't know I'm here, but part of the reason why I'm back home is because it's his birthday on the 9th, and so I came to surprise him a little bit early. And he, okay, so he's in love with car shows, similar to me, he put me on the car shows. And so the whole idea is I told my sister to tell him that they're not going to a car show tomorrow, so like it makes him really sad. And I'm gonna come in here, it's super early, like 6, 7 a.m. But I'm gonna go in there and be like, oh boy, you gotta get up for the car show. And he's gonna be like, what the heck? Cause he thinks I'm like hours away at school. So that's gonna be really cool. You guys should come see. Boy, we gotta go to the car meet. Come on, you gotta get ready for the car meet. Little boy. Little boy. <laughs> you gotta come on, we gotta go to the car meet. We gotta go to the car meet. Huh? <laughs> come on! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Alright, little boy. Okay. Oh, yeah. you look cute. Oh, little boy, you gotta see. You gotta see what we're taking to the car. Whoa! This is nice. Whoa. I like it. You wanna see this the inside? Is wild. It is it's even look at that. That's how you know it's expensive. Oh Most cars go pepe, pe, it goes kan 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 kan. And it's so loud. You wanna hear it? Oh yeah. Hear it. Hear Everything. Yeah. All right, you gotta go get ready though. All right. Okay, so I like wore these shoes. Or I guess I showed them to my mom. Like when I bought them at the Nike store, and she was like so in love with them. She was like, you know, she really wants a pair, yada yada. So now we're gonna be twins because before I came, I bought her this pair. And you know, she used to wear them to work. They're super comfortable. So before she comes out, um, I'm gonna give them to her. And I think she'll like the change. So, well, when she comes out, I'll give them to her, and she'll be able to wear them to work, and she'll probably be super happy. So I'm gonna go kind of rush her out, not rush, but like kind of get her to come out. So, yeah. Mama, remember how you said like you like those shoes that I was wearing? Which one? The the ones that I was wearing. You said you really liked them when we were on Facetime. I got you a pair. Oh, nice. Let me just change to this one today. <laughs> nice, oh, nice. Let me go they're to so comfortable. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. They fit? Yeah. Aren't they so comfortable? Just bouncing mm -hmm. them. What happened? Dude, I don't. It was just giant mosh pits over population. The, like, the um, medical team wasn't properly, like, they didn't even know how to do CPR. Whoa! Because CPR, basically, you're working with a medical team, you don't know how to do CPR at a concert. People was like, Michael Jackson will go up on stage, he will collapse. They have to begin to do resuscitation in the middle of the crowd. Today, this time of day, you gotta do, go do your chores. <laughs> go clean your bathroom, sweep the staircase, and whatever you need to do. Even I'm not free to No rest. CEO in this house. <laughs> Me a cup of coffee. Okay, so a lot of people always ask me like why do I go to car meets? And I really never expected to actually like car meets, but I think when I started looking for a car to buy, that's when I really started paying attention to cars. And my dad and my brother 
they've always been so into cars. Like my brother is a car fanatic. So he loved going to car meets. And um, when I started to fall in love with cars and just like realized all the different interiors, exteriors, models, like the kind of image that you get with like starting, there's so much to cars and there's like a wealth class as well. Like you know when you see a Lambo down the street, even if you're driving, you're gonna be like, you know, so for me it was really just realizing the cars are like a form of, of inspiration to me. And it's like I want to be able to see a car or get a car, <clears throat> excuse me. I want to be able to see a car or get a car that's, you know, up there. So um, it's it's like a point, it, it's a pinnacle of success. Like I would say, someone else can do it. There's nothing that's saying that I can't do it, you know, because anything I can do, I believe anyone can do. Um, little baby, there's a line where he says, if I went in there and did it and made it, you can too. Because if one person can do it, another person can do it. You know, it's, nobody's free of that. So for me, that's kind of how I see cars. I um, really like them. Um, but um, yeah, so that's just me with going to car meets. And it's their amazing networking events. You get to meet so many people. Um, I've met people who work for Robin Hood there. I've met multi-millionaires there. I've met people that are real estate moguls. I mean, people with all different types of backgrounds, people who invest in watches. I mean. You meet so many different people and you really have to learn to market yourself but also network too to really build those relationships because you never know who knows who that knows who, you know. But yeah, I just say that that's the reason I go to car meets. And a lot of people probably don't find interest in it, but I do. Yeah. So right now we are currently at um the park up front, Cars and Cantina Rally, they have a lot. They have a one in Nebraska Furniture Mart. I feel like and that's called the Field Up Mel uh, Rally. Sorry, the Field Up Rally. Hey, how you doing? Great. I, I recognize you from Instagram. You do? Oh, Are you serious? Yeah, we, we, have, uh, we were having that Kicks Up Front show. Oh, yeah. I wanted to sponsor it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we can still talk about it. We've just been really busy, but uh, yeah. our booth is right there uh, in the corner. You can okay. see us. So if you have a chance to swing by, we can talk a little bit. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you. No, this is a Kicks Up Front. Y'all should make sure you go. Um, but basically, I was trying to sponsor them because like they needed sponsors, and I love car shows, and I love shoes, so... By the way, peep the kicks. You know, we always gotta peep the kicks. But um, yeah, like I love shoes, I love cars, so it was just like the perfect combination. I went last year, and that was too hype. So uh, yeah, but right now we're just at the park up front. Um, cars and Cantina meet. They have Cars and Cantina. They have Build Up meet. Um, and then they have one. I forgot the name of the other one, but yeah, like it's just a super car event. You can see McLarens right there. There's a bunch of Lambos all through throughout here. We got the Audi that we brought right here. I'm super happy. I, I love cars. And I love car shows. And you'll just see, like, you just network with people. Like, it's crazy. And I'm happy that y'all get to enjoy the day with me. So, let's keep going. Oh, look at this. Lambo, Porsche. That's crazy. And that's literally, like, the level it goes in terms of like class, like Lambo's like woo, Ferrari's like woo, McLaren's like woo, the Porsche's like woo. You know, you see a lot more Porsches than the rest. I really like the Porsche Taycan. That's like my favorite, favorite, like dream car. Uh, I don't know. I love the way this Audi drives though. I love it. It drives too nice, too smooth. It's like most cars, when I rent them and I get in them, it's like, I had to kind of get used to the wheel a little bit. The Porsche was the worst. Like, that one felt so big body for a low vehicle. But this, I mean, from the, it just felt so natural from the jump. The wheel moves real smooth. The car is real smooth. It makes a nice, you know, like, the sound is amazing. It has a custom exhaust. So, but yeah, that's, it's just crazy.
Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice like your chain, your watch. I was wondering, is it AP? AP. Then I got a Rolly. But uh, it's real entry level. But that's real nice. It's an entry level. Yeah. But um, I was wondering, what do you do for a living? Is that a Hellcat? It's a Hellcat, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, man, I do a lot. I own a couple of businesses. What kind of businesses? Furniture, are credit. Uh, so you do like credit repair? Yeah, stuff? my wife do credit repair. And she a real estate, and I do. Uh, I used to play basketball, so I had a little money overseas. So you had like money to then invest in the business. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I do stock, so if you ever want to learn how to like stock, I actually put some money in. Uh, what's that? Uh, what was it? See, what is it called? See, uh, I don't know. Sheba. She, oh, but she was a crypto. Whoa, whoa ain't the same. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're not the same. But no, like my group, we have like a ninety-five percent win rate. Like. We hit 100% returns, 1,000% yeah, yeah, yeah. returns every single week like it's nothing. Oh, okay. So you should definitely check us out, though. What's, what's your Instagram or something? Yeah, yeah. You can check out my Instagram. It's like what I'm really known for. But, uh... Boom. So that is one of the ways you can network. You can literally just go up to people and be like, hey, what do you do? Well, this is what I do. Rather than some people just be like, hey, man, you interested in this? This is what I don't do that. Um, or you could like, you know how I noticed, I was like, I like your watch. What kind of watch is it? And he was like, it's an AP. And I was like, oh, man, I got a Rolex. AP is <laughs> above mine. But it was just like, that's a way you can, that's why I say like watches can be used also as marketing. So, and networking too. But yeah, so that's just a little tip you can use. Definitely look into it. I was wondering what you do for a living. Oh, payment processing. Payment process. So, yes, oh, is it like Stripe and like? Uh, so it's like if you've ever gotten a uh, like a blue check yeah. in the mail, that's we print that. So that's that's all. Wow, us. and it gets sent to everyone pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. And do you get like a fee like from everyone or? Yes. Yeah. So you know we charge by paper and everything. So. How did you get into it? So I actually had a friend hire me to his. Yeah. So I learned that so. That's cool. crazy. Yeah, I do stocks. So if you ever want to learn how to like kill it in the stock market. Cool. I'll, yeah, I'll let you know for sure. What's your Instagram? Oh, I'll, I'll give it to you right now. But yeah, like it, it, my group, we're number one in the world for what we do. And you know, I created it and everything. What is it? Um, Kelly O G K E L L Y O H G. Oh, right there. E E. Yes, sir. Cool. All right. Yeah. I'll follow you. But I'll definitely follow you back. I love the car. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. You know what's really crazy is you'll learn a lot of the things that you think aren't that big are really big. Like a lot of people think you either got to get a good job in tech or you got to be a surgeon or something or be a CEO. But a lot of times these people are doing jobs you've never heard of. Who would ever think I mean, to start a payment processing business, you know? But I think it's crazy. I think it's awesome. I love asking. I love asking. Hi, I was wondering what do you do for a living? If you're cool with uh, answering that. Yeah, I'm a programmer. You're a what? Programmer. Programmer. So like for, so is that like software development kind of like apps and all of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. You know, I've been telling everyone like tech is where it's at. It is. You know, because we're like getting into bigger and newer technology. Even with um, Facebook and like the new metaverse and all of that. Like, right, social networking. It's just, it is, and even like creators, like I'm a creator, so it's like, what happens is, because of technology, you know, they're blowing up, so it's like, in a, we're in a world now where a creator can be a millionaire, and they're making like a doctor's salary in a month, you know, things are crazy like that. But I do stocks, so if you ever want to learn how to kill it in the stock market, I actually run the number one trading group in the world, so if you ever want to learn how to kill it, you can hit me up. Do you have an Instagram or anything like that? Yeah, I'll show you mine. Um, it's Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. Boom. And I'll definitely follow you back. Thank you so much. I love your car. We're like, if we do 100,000, what's next? You know, we need to have growth. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's really important. That's a really important piece of advice right there. But that's really don't feel like just because you went big, you have to scale because then you have to keep. Like, okay, I remember when I was going to get my car, I wanted a Benz. My dad was like, you can get a Benz, but you can't just get a Benz. Some people get like a Lambo, like they make a ton of money, they're like, it's a Lambo. And that's like, what's next? 
driving the little, the, the right hand drive, the pow that yeah, day. The yeah, pow, the pow. Right. <laughs> and you guys are standing somewhere over here. I drove by you. So what do you do? He was telling me, he, he started to tell me a little bit about you. And I was like, yeah. I want to know more. Tell me more uh, about I run the number one like trading group in the world. A lot of people say like options are super risky. Yeah. So what we do is we do like low risk plays with super high rewards. Like literally yesterday, we just had a 10,000% return on a play, which is insane. That's like turning $100 to 10,000 overnight. Um, my friend, he hit like for 1,000, like he got a 1,000% return on it. So he literally was like telling me my account's at 1.2. And then once market opened, he's like, holy crap, Kelly, my my, um, my account's at 11K. And like literally just overnight. So that's what we do. And we like teach people how to be profitable in the stock market. Thanks for coming again. Appreciate it. And uh, let's hang out next time. We have a link. We'll go eat something one day or something. So you like little boy?
trying to get him online. But I basically told him that he, he doesn't need to get the shoes because I got it. Like, I got him. <laughs> I was like, they might not these are nice. I thought they were like, she was like, they got a real. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, like, this is your pick reaction. Right? I was like, I mean, obviously it's after the fact, but like, it, it caught me off guard, really. So, happy birthday, I guess. Alright, so. I'm still looking. A couple of my favorites so far um, Black and White Dunk Lows. Mocha's, but I already have those. I already have Mocha's. Um, the Yeezys look pretty cool. I just wish I had an Oreo. The black ones are nice, but the Oreos are like black with a white stripe. I, I like that a lot. I feel like he's getting in his head. I would put a hole. Maybe I am. I think, I, think, I, I think he's getting in his head a bit and he needs to get out of his head. I'm chopped live! Talking out your head. Talking out your head. I was saying like moments like this where I'm just at the mall it, it's so like it's such a huge blessing because so we were looking at two shoes two pairs of off-whites that I've been wanting for I'm not gonna lie years and um, you know they were taxing it was like 2800 for one pair 1.1 for the other which StockX does not have prices like that but I was just looking at it like wow you know like I could really just sit here and buy this right now and it's not a problem because you know, on Monday, I'll go trade, make that money back in seconds or minutes or, you know, like throughout the week. And so it's just so crazy to me how like how much of a blessing it's become because I'm just out of nowhere just so able to just literally buy whatever I want, spend whatever I want. Like it's nothing. So I, I don't know. I think it's just such a blessing. It's like moments like this where it really just hits me like I'm so grateful. All the glory to God. You know, I didn't do this by myself. He's. He's been the one guiding me throughout the way. He put the right people in the right place. He put me in the right positions, my content in the right faces. So, you know, for me, it's just really huge. Um, Anna, I'm just so incredibly thankful. Like, I could cry right now. <laughs> um, but it's moments like this, I, I just... And I love the fact that, that because of my platform, it's enabling other people to be able to do the same things, you know? Stuff you never thought you could afford. You walk in and you're like, I'll buy this right now and I'll make it back tomorrow. And it, it's just crazy. You know, trading is something different. It's it's so different. It's a, you literally control the money you make. And yeah, you're gonna face losses sometimes, but the wins are worth it. You know, if you really take the time to learn and understand. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because man, I, I just feel so overwhelmed, like joy and happiness. But yeah, y'all should be trading for real. You know, something like that, or just try and mix it up. Yeah. Hey, this is what this crypto did, or try try to avoid saying crypto if there's a way. What's that, really? Crazy part in the inner circle. No, three people already make six picks, but what do I? You know what I'm saying? Oh, what is he? Yeah. Little. 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 Oh, you got the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody behind me. <laughs> she needs to seek help. Oh, my lady. Hey, 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 The video is a video. Yeah, it's a video. Oh, it's a video. Hey, y'all, uh, y'all go follow me on Instagram, um, Malik DTX. I'm going up. I kept telling you I was gonna go buy them. Yeah, send me the money. Yeah, yeah, I love the message. Hey, hey, if I, if I find the person, how much they worth? You put it in. He has to go home to his family. Hello. <laughs> Honestly, it feels pretty good. Only issue is, it was like towards the end of the mall closing time, so I felt a bit rushed. I didn't really get to like 
think as well, like, would this go good? What would this go with? This is like really nice. Uh, I might have to like go home, take it into consideration, see what looks nice, what doesn't. Um, I might have to come back from there like another day, to be honest, and like really see. Because I didn't really go to most of the rest, like, not restaurants, right, most way of the stores that I wanted to go to. Okay. And so, I mean, I'm just ready to see how that goes and how that turns out. But, um, that's the last I'm not, I'm, I'm really grateful for what Cuddy's has done today. Um, we didn't get any shoes because we're probably gonna get them off of like the places here at Taxi. They're Taxi. Like, there was a shoe going for like a thousand, they were selling for three thousand. So, places here are definitely Taxi. Um, Josh Fox. Here goes Josh Fox Mail. Um, no, but it was a good day. It was a good day. Um, I'm ready to really take it on, like, at home, see how it goes. Yeah. So, right now we are currently looking for how did we got in here because valet closes is at eight and it is currently let me turn off my phone 8 23 i know the camera tilted 8 23 right there whoa turned off but why is it blurring it won't it's 8 23 that's the frustrating part so but we're gonna make it i hope don't know where our car is. You know, like there's no valet. We're just, look, little boy's the valet. Um, we don't know what we're gonna do. So, Altari just waved me over. <laughs> I feel like I'm police. Well, the security, because we are here without a car. So, he doesn't like he has answers, but we'll see how it goes. So basically we had to come to a nearby hotel. It was the West End Hotel. hotel. This is a hotel. Oh, this is a motel. No, hotel. We only do hotels here. And basically they were like, okay, we do have the car, but we need cash. And none of us carried cash because, you know, carts. But, um, yeah, so we weren't able to get the car, but then we were scrambling. So sorry. We were asking, like, random people for money. You know, they can make a little bit of money change off of us you know but it's cool um but we got the car i think tara zoned him you know it wasn't cash but hey it worked so we're good now josh came out he was like i got 13 dollars i'm like dude it's too late but we're good so let's go oh no 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 you can't <laughs> no actually i don't care but you know they're gonna tag me they're not gonna beat you I'm making the money. Okay. Thank you, give me. Hello. Damn. We are now about to eat. We just came back from the mall. Celebrating little boy. It's like an early little mini celebration with Josh. We asked him where he wanted to eat. And he said a Chinese buffet. Um, but it's his day, not mine, so but we're celebrating at a buffet. I was fine with anything. You said Chinese anything. buffet and we're here. So oh, he said, what do you food. truly crave? I like Chinese buffet, but I mean, whatever you ask the why, I guess. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. No, like I, I feel like I always have to be alert because I think that Kelly has Kelly has a good heart and she's a nice person. But what, what do you mean, mm -hmm. Joshua? <laughs> Joshua no, no bad. Josh likes trouble. She has a good heart, but she's a, and she's a nice person. But somebody has to always be thinking worst case scenario because if she can, continues to use her the good heart that God has given her to help others to look forward, you're not gonna be looking out for the people who don't have good attention. Right. Let's say it was worst case scenario. My mind goes to Kelly's by herself somewhere. Somebody sits in her orange jacket. A group of five boys, five big boys, walk up there and start paying more. Right. That you, you, all of a sudden you're in a position where you're at you're at a, um, a disadvantage. So what am I, what, even though she's seeing it from a um, best case scenario, probably want to ask my business, this is the time to advertise, I'm seeing it from, if this were a small girl who has who is, whose jackets they like and have all these people going to her, what's the worst that can happen so that I can stay ready? It's not from a point of fear, it's from a point of protection. They just train, can you teach me how to train? Well, I had, when I go to church, they'll just come up to me, I need to get with you, I need to get with you. Or to be like, give me a talk, teach me how to trade. And it's like, 
nobody ever has time. I had like, you know, like family friends or like acquaintances, or, like, you know, just people I know through like family, but not directly. Mm -hmm. They don't be spamming my phone. I don't know how they get my phone. Oh, just spam my phone. Give me a call. Give me a call. I want to join this. Give me a call. And I'm like, I charge for a phone call. Because, like, it doesn't matter who you are. It's like, that's just what I do. A lot of times, it's people I've never spoken to in my life. We haven't spoken to in over a decade. It's never how's everything going. It's not check of, checking up on me. It's just teach me how to trade, which I'll do. But if you want that personal one on one help, then pay. If not, you too. Yeah. You want my place. I go my place. I was really inspired by Levon's entrepreneurial journey um, back in quarantine. I think I said that in the interview with Meech, but. Um, I just want to like talk to him because it's really cool how we kind of started around the same time, blew up around the same time, and like are seeing this much success. We thank God. He did not say that. So I just wanted to kind of ask you, like, to tell us about like where it all started, what inspired you, what motivated you to get into okay. your businesses, you know, crypto, and then your success with crypto, and like okay. how that expanded. But go gotcha. ahead, starting in before quarantine. Okay, so before quarantine. I'm only 20, so before quarantine, I was still a baby. Um, yeah, still a, still a baby. But I was working in Foot Locker, um, making maybe $800 a month-ish. Um, yeah. That's um, good. And then working there, I learned how to talk to people, how to market, everything like that. Um, but I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do at the end of the day. Um, I wanted to do more. Um, in high school, I was a hooper, but hooping didn't work out. And then I wanted to be an optometrist to help people. Um, that didn't work out either, but I found another way to actually help people. Um, when quarantine started, um, started getting into investing, started learning about investing. Obviously, everybody starts learning how to invest through Robinhood, bought a couple stocks. Um, in quarantine, everything actually tanked, so I lost a lot of money. Um, and then after that, I was just studying, studying, studying. Um, from there, I mean, stocks. Obviously, Kelly's going crazy with stocks. Shout out Cash Capital. Shout out Kelly. Shout out, you know, everybody like that. Um, but for me, it was crypto that always fascinated me. Um, just because, obviously, we're young. And at the end of the day, we're going to be alive in the next 20, 30, 40 years, God willing. Um, and it's like, you know, at the end of the day, futures, uh, technology is advancing crypto is kind of that you know what i'm saying next avenue um so i got into crypto and i actually took it serious at the beginning of this year made my first 50k actually had my first 1k day in february I actually posted it on my instagram paid my mom's rent um and then from there um this was february i had my 1k day march was my greatest month in crypto um 15k day that month was a 50k month and then from there I bought my first house in the motherland, $30,000, just like that. Cash? Cash money. I can show... Which crypto? Which crypto? Um, you said what? Which crypto? Um, this is from trading. So I trade cryptos. I pretty much... The only crypto that I trade is, trade is Bitcoin. <laughs> though. The crypto that I trade? Yeah. No, the only Bitcoin. crypto that I trade is Bitcoin. Are you um, swinging or like day trading? Um, I'm, I started off day trading. Now I'm a swinger. Um, I'll maybe take two or three trades a month, and that'll make me enough for a couple months. See, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> or someone's yearly. I hate to break it to you, Ooh. but um, Ooh. but um, I used that money to buy my first house, um, and then I took I took a break from trading, invested in Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, and a couple other altcoins. That's where I made my first six figs from investing. Boom. Boom. From there, took investing serious. Um, this right here is the warm wallet. Just 13K, nothing crazy. No, just 13K. Sorry, oh, sorry bro. And then we get into the cold wallet. Sorry, bro. Huh? Y'all see that? I hate that. that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, bro. Y'all hey, see what that? Are um, what are you doing to give away? So look. Huh? Break. No, go ahead. I was just going to say he can sell it anytime. This is and this is liquid. Liquid. I mean, not liquid, but but like he can liquidate it. I can liquidate it, and that's yeah. his cash. Let's do the giveaway. And he can go buy three more houses in the motherland. By the way, say what the motherland is. Somalia. 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 You know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, um, ran it up with investing, and then from there, hit six figures, and then from there, decided to expand to help other people kind of do the exact same thing. Um, created the inner circle June 14th to the date. Um, now we are June, July, August, September, October, almost five months in, 700 people, um, and already helped three people create six figures and multiple right. other. Huh? Let me tell y'all. He posted like he, he'll post all these crypto analysis and stuff and like charts and where he thinks like price targets are going. They just did a was it Decentraland? So Mana. God dang. Decentraland, yeah. Decentraland, yeah. It went like 400 percent in like a couple days, and I was like, "There's no way you just missed that, Kelly." So then he posted like an analysis on BET. Um, so I went and I put money into BET at like 10 cents, and I think my investment's currently up 60 percent just off his analysis on that. So. This man is the real deal. Keep Look at those eye. charts. That's nasty right there. Look at those charts. Boom. Um, if I can actually show y'all V-Chain was nasty. I can show you the original buy price. That's insane. Dang, what was it? Four cents? Two cents? Yeah. Two cents, and it's currently 16. <laughs> That's so what, 800% return? Four, I don't even know. I'm not good at math. Two times, two times eight two is times, 16, so yeah. 800% return. 800% return. So if you put a dollar in, you would have made 800. If you put 1,000 in, you would have made 8,000. If you put 10,000, you would have made 8,000? 100, 800. 80,000. Congrats, I'm, you're a millionaire. Boom, <laughs> You know, so that's just so crazy. But um, yeah, his story is incredible. And he, you stay so silent about your story. I think you should tell it. Yeah. Make a YouTube video. Not yet, or not yet. It's coming though. Yes. It's coming. I started with crypto, um, and I'm I'm working on expanding. So yeah. other business ventures coming soon. Um, and that's whenever that's whenever we're gonna start going crazy with content, YouTube wise. That's why I tell people like trade because it can open up the doors for so many things. Like one of my friends, she's just been trading to fund her hair business, and I think she made like a thousand this week, and now she can put that into her business. Which before you know that's that's working how many hours at like. A regular job. That's a lot after taxes too, you know. So, and she did that literally just chilling in her room, you know. So trading doesn't have to be the full time, but it can just be oh, the source, you know. It can be the path, and trading can be very psychologically overbearing sometimes, but overwhelming. overwhelming yeah, but but it's worth it, um, especially when you're really taking the time to learn. A lot of people try to get in and rush it. And like they'll see his profits, or they'll see my profits, or they'll see Josh's profits, and it's like, oh, I want to make that money. Let me get in today, and they think they'll make it tomorrow. But notice how he said he started getting into crypto a year ago, and it wasn't until February he saw his first 1K a day, and since then, it you know blossomed, and that's really because he took the time to really learn it and study it and understand uh, it, and yeah. probably took a lot of losses along the way, you know. So it's worth it though. Well, 20 years old, has a house Just in the motherland. 20. Just, just turned 20, 20 so <laughs> barely 20, pretty much 19. Bought a house in the motherland, over six figures, net and in his portfolio. And he's opening, I don't want to say your other businesses, but opening Not other yet. businesses and has created three other people that have made six figures. So without his existence, they wouldn't be paid. Yeah, that's just his story. I think it's so cool. And like, we both went to similar like neighboring that's high schools crazy. that's the crazy part about it him and josh went to the it, same high school yeah like our whole little group grew up in the same exact area i went to summit josh went to summit um i don't know if kelly wants us to say where she went do you oh already, they're gonna find out Anyways, yeah kelly yeah. went to mansfield slash legacy yeah um and meach went to timberview so it's kind of crazy how we, we all were grew all up. in the same district yeah. same area and now we're like taking over the area and like yeah. the state and just the globe you know crypto stocks sports betting uh shopify it's crazy yeah and this is just the beginning of the crazier part it's youtube y'all gonna have to put it in the comment section Boom. if y'all want to crypto stocks sports betting and e-commerce collab put that all into one giant course you gotta charge like a band for that though what all the a band more than 10 bands <laughs> all that's the crazy bands. When is everything we know give away for what no money on my card. <laughs> Bankrupt. <laughs> but no, um, Inner Circle, uh, link is in my Instagram bio, at Bonnie Bravo. Whenever we get to 1,000 individuals, I will be doing... It by the time that you drop. Yeah, I will be doing a pretty fat giveaway. I'm not going to lie. And the thing is, I don't make a profit from this group. So this is all money that I'm coming out of pocket for y'all. Hey, Factory Production.
Productions.